Salutations. My good fellow. What was my volume ups offset for this game? It was negative 12.4. Okay, so, do I sound right? Yeah. I, I, ow. I do. Check, check. Check. Okay, I guess. Okay, let's get started. Let's play the game. Where's my, where's my pointer? Oh, it's right here. Got 84 star. Do 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 Here's a letter from Peach, same letter she's been sending for the past eight weeks. Mario, please come save me. No. But I can also get one over here. Where is the ground? I want it. I want it! <laughs> okay, so anyway, hey, how you doing? My last VOD got taken down for violating YouTube's child policy because you know that's what YouTube is super fixated on some who, who will think of the children if not me John YouTube Okay, so there was a hungry man I didn't address last time. One thousand, do I have that? Yes. That's it, I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform. The Sand Spiral. Galaxian. I forgot which one that is. Choosing a favorite snack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you get the choice of two power up here. Which one you want I should go for? Yes. I don't need this. I don't need it! I needed it! No, wait, I, can, I can make it without. No, no, I don't need it. I mean, I better be careful or else I'm gonna run out of lives. Every time you die, you switch power up. That's fair. You know, this probably is not worth it. This bizarrity I am trying to do. Okay, I guess we'll start with Buario. Hang on. Every time you die, you lose one eyelash. Well, that's a bit strange. Oh. Oh, I'm still alive. I'm still in it. No, no, please. Please, you're no good for me. Okay, now I'm dead. <laughs> I, 
kind of have to like tuck my arms back in order to be far enough for the IR sensor. Okay. So B Mario can fly into the light all he wants. All right. Okay, coin gives me back some juice. Okay, I guess I'm boo now. I love this part though. This part's awesome. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what that was. Was I supposed to go in the other direction? I don't know. The spin! The spin is what do it! <laughs> I'm sure you can make it to the center. <laughs> you could make it to the center. Okay, simple enough. Are you gonna say beating the game for next stream? I don't know. You think you think I plan that far ahead? I got no idea what I'm doing. Oh. What is it? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> Just get, just give them all to me. Did you already get them before Sand Spiral? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, and now for the house. The house of mouse. May not actually contain mouse. You remember this? You remember this? I remember this. This planet, very dear to me. I look forward to visiting this planet with the Lumas every 100 years. The Luma that's been traveling you may also grow up to become a star someday. Some Lumas become planets, some become comets, and a few become power stars. I'm traveling with them while they look for a place to be reborn. But I never thought all this would happen. Wow, Mama must really trust you. Well, how about this? If you grab all 100 purple coins, then you'll earn my trust, too. This is a red star. It holds the power of the red Lumas. But the really amazing part about it is it allows you to fly after you spin in midair. Yes, fly! While pressing, pressing A, you can pick the direction you want to fly with... If you collect 100 purple coins, I'll let you use my power somewhere else. Yeah, so here's a power up. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you my trust. It'll it only will cost one million dollar. Yeah. 
Just gotta go around, go around the block. Oh, nope, okay. You thought I messed it up, but I didn't. Try shaking around the coins with flying. Oh, okay. On the ground? Oh, okay. Oh, well, I guess I gotta get be closer to one. How confusing. Okay, it does about the same thing. Restart the music! Start the music. Yeah, that's strange. <laughs> Regular the plumber. See, this is the edgy color scheme that they were pushing for this game. Miyamoto thought it would be really cool if Mario was edgy now. And then everybody told him that was an awful idea. And he was like, all right, fine. I'm never gonna do anything cool ever again. And that's how Sticker Star got made. Yes, I'm a finally on the virtual boy. I don't think Dustman likes Sticker Star. What gave you that idea? Don't be ridiculous. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Suicide Squad. A hungry Luma has appeared. Alright. What are we? Some kind of Sticker star. Another one! Alright, so. By doing that, we unlock this. And I bet you're excited for all the missions where we will get to use this power up. This seems precarious. <laughs> you can see how shaky my arm is when I do this. I'm gonna need more star bits. Booze Boneyard Galaxy. No, I'm gonna fly- I'm gonna fly straight there! Okay, I can't do that. It'd be cool if they let you do that. Racing the spooky speedster. Didn't I do this? I did this already.
Oh, we get to become the bone marrow. Yes. The bone planet. Is this what happened to Galactus? Okay, I'm gonna need more of these. Dang ol' Luma's taking all my money. Except it's not really money. So you're after it too? You'll have to race me for it. Here we go! Okay. The Cavern of Lost Souls, let's go. Um, what happened to the video? <laughs> what kind of filter is this? Okay, that's weird. God, Mario. We talked about this. You get you have to have a designated driver, man. Ah yes, the bone stomach. There, there's some kind of glitch you can do here, I think, but I forgot what it was. <laughs> so I'm not going to be doing it. Like, I feel like there's some way to, to get here as normal Mario, or to like, walk in here like it's a 3D section or something. Something like that. Hey, that man wasn't dead at all. He was just pretending. Well, now that we're done with the ghost with the most, we can hopefully go into that last dome. No, I better gr better grab this first. We're gonna need it. Oh, there's one on top. Wait, what, is this it? Is this it? Wait. Oh yeah, this is it. Okay. Uh, it, 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 it. Let me just fart a little bit. I forget what, where that one takes you, but I don't want to risk it because it'll probably take... It'll probably take me over there. It'll probably take me back, all the way back. Okay, so 46 first. That makes sense to me. Deep Dark Galaxy. Okay, this is a this is an interesting one. And there's some glitches you can do here. Ooh. The underground ghost ship. Okay, okay, I'm pressing. I'm pressing the button. Let me in. Okay, gotta get this. We're gonna need it. Snore. Okay, there's a treasure chest. What else we got? Oh, there's a Koopa shell. We can open the treasure chest. Oh, that crab buried itself. Is that something crabs do? Well, killing that crab gets you one up, so that's neat. Oh, no, I didn't want to jump. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, I'm just gonna go straight down. 
Oh, it's for a one-up, okay. Oh, is that a seam? Is that a seam? Guys, I seem- I see a seam. Seam! Okay, so there's a cannon here. So there's two planets. Let's go to this one first. So this is the little planet. You know, it's not covered in machinery right now, but that's okay. So here's a glitch I always used to do when this game was new because it was super easy. So there's this, like this little house here. This li little house. You can kind of, you can kind of squeeze Mario in the door. <laughs> if you crouch, you can kind of just wedge him right in there. I have no idea why Nintendo didn't catch this, but maybe they did it on purpose. I don't know. You can get him, you can get him like in the house. That That is possible. Oh, almost, almost. There you go, there you go, in the house. So now you can see the inside of the planet. Which is a little trippy looking. Not much to do though, but you know, it's, it's easy. Okay, so now the planet is deflating. Something that's fun to do. Long jump. <laughs> we. So then it sends you here. It'd be funny if there was just a random picture of Miyamoto inside. Yes, it would. It would be very funny. I just killed a Luma. Well, sometimes sacrifices have to be made. I might die. I might die to these Octoroks. Get you some good, uh, some good monies. So you ever feel like, uh, you ever feel like they wanted to only, oh, that's right, you gotta go to that planet, get the fire flower, and come back to get in there. Oh, and you can get a rainbow star on the way. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, I was gonna say, you ever feel like they just wanted to have star bits in this game? but they felt like they had to put coins in because it's it's tradition. I don't know, Mario games are weird about having two currencies. One that's for one-ups and one that you actually buy things with. Like, Odyssey does the same thing. Maybe, but then how would you get health back? I don't know, you could make it to where every few star bits. I don't know. The coins just kind of feel like an afterthought in this game to me. I mean, heck, in Odyssey, the coins don't even do that. You have to collect hearts. Okay, I'm just gonna jump up here. I got a long jump on this. Is that something I want to do? I don't know, but I'm up here now. Yeah, this, this feels very unpopulated, like it's somewhere I'm not supposed to be. I'm actually in where the second mission takes place. 
Well, we love a good sequence break. But since this is Mario Galaxy, you probably will be able to get absolutely nothing by coming here. Besides this, of course. <laughs> oh no! Well, I'm probably not getting that. Yeah, I'm not getting that, but I can get this. Oh. <laughs> well, guys, I'm sorry, but your wishes for hilarious battery death <laughs> were not fulfilled. And instead, as predicted, it happened in a totally reasonable time. Anyway, time for my removing the battery stream. All right, is this open? Yeah, it's open. Get a fresh pair. What do you mean you're not using one of those unreliable third-party rechargeable packs? I bought one of those because they were on sale and they held a charge for like maybe a month and then they weren't worth using anymore. I feel like if I was going to go that route, probably the best thing to do would be to get just the, the straight up double A's you can charge. Which I used to have one of those, but I have no idea what happened to, do it, happened to it. Pardon me. I, I don't know if that picked up or what, but either way, I have like three million AA batteries over here, so it's not a big deal. I can I I can spare a couple. Quit pooting. That is not polite. Okay. Alright, so what's the dealio here? Is there another switch somewhere? <laughs> you are a silly man. Oh, that's a good moon. Maybe that's why my Wii Remote wasn't picking up so good. I'm sorry, I just, like... I, I, you guys know, I tend to burp a lot during these. I mean, just like little tiny ones, but... I, I'm not like... I don't have my eyes on the uh, microphone, so... Or the microphone levels. I do have my eyes on the microphone, roughly. But the microphone levels, yeah, I don't really know. So, So I can't really tell when it picks up. So I just, you know, I just kind of... Pardon myself anyway. Even if it will be to the confusion of everyone involved. It. Da, 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 da. Alright, so here's what we gotta do. Yep, here, here she is again. Why is, why is she so huge? I haven't thought about that before, but why is she so big? 
Is this like the Mario equiv equivalent to that Re Resident Evil lady? Ah, Ethan Winters. You know, I can't be the only one who thinks that there is nothing scary about that woman. Besides maybe her imposing size. I mean, considering how, uh, well, you know, the internet has gotten about her. Then yeah, I, I, I don't think they did a good job making a scary antagonist. I think the internet has more of a thing for Shy Guys than Magic Koopas. Yeah, I mean, the Shy Girl market is definitely oversaturated. But I mean, hey, maybe maybe the Magic Koopa girl, uh, the field, that field. There's some un there's some untapped market there. I know a great many things I shouldn't know, yet somehow none of this is among it. Did you just say among? Leave Kami Koopa alone, you monsters. Yeah, we probably should leave her alone, especially considering Nintendo is certainly leaving her alone. Proof? Proof that the new Paper Mario games are bad. Kami Koopa is not in them. Okay, so anyway, there's a glitch that I know about that I held off on doing because I wanted to do one normal mission. But now I'll probably show it to you, assuming the cannon is open. Was there much reason for Kami to exist in the first place to be on it? Not really, but it's the principle of the thing. Okay, I'm gonna be real with you. All right, I'm gonna say something absolutely blasphemous right now. I pretty much only cared for Kamek in Yoshi's Island. Any of his subsequent appearances, I, I've not been a fan. I don't know, he's just not doing it for me. I don't think it helps that there's really nothing that sets him apart from a normal Magikoopa. I'm, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say it. Kami's better. She's better than Kamek. Because you can look at her and say, oh, that's Kami Koopa. You know, with Kamek, it's always like, is that, is that Kamek or is that just a Magikoopa? Oh, can I hit this? Can I hit this guy with a coconut? I want to hit this guy with a coconut. Well, my aim's got to be good first. Yes, I can. Oh, okay, I can't. I can't do the glitch in this mission. Okay, never mind. Okay, so what am I doing here? I'm going this way! Uh, it's probably to get the fire flower to open the door. No, the door's open. Why, why'd I do that? Why'd I do any of that? I mean, I'll go here so I can get some star bits. I missed the star. Hang on, guys. Be right with you. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Sometimes that B button is just so enticing. OK, 
Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie spooky artidoki. Yeah, I'm convinced I can take a shortcut over this way, though. If I just aim, like, right about here. Oh, I'm crud, the tree. <laughs> the tree is blocking my epic tricks. Well, I can at least shoot for this. <laughs> Well, that didn't quite work, but whatever. I mean, there's clearly an ice star here somewhere. Yeah, you probably have to go down. You probably have to go down into the water to get it, so I think my strategy is probably better. Because any strategy where you don't have to enter the water is just intrinsically better. Did I say I start? Uh, uh. Okay, hit the pole, hit the pole. Yes! Yes! Epic tips and tricks. From the video game master of all time. That was weird. I don't know how I feel about it. We. Light speed! Light speed! Going to space! I'm already in space, never mind. Log. These fish are in trouble, but that's none of my concern. appearance of cheap cheeps in the game uh, that's that's that can't be right that that feels incorrect ground pound to make them hit the water what sort of planet is this oh no it's the watermelon festival oh no it's the shockwave festival None of the 3D games have any Buzzy Beetle. You know, that I believe. I don't remember seeing them anywhere. Okay, I, I mean, am I having Mandela, am I having like a Mandela effect for a couple of weeks ago? Cause I swear I feel like I saw a cheap cheap in another galaxy. 
but if not that, then what, what enemy did I see? Guppy in the underground lake. Oh no, it's this guy again. Bring in Will Smith. Yeah, I guess you can only do the glitch in the first mission, because in this one, the, the cannon's covered up. Which is just lame as all heck. Ow. Pardon me. Oh no, now there's the eels. You dare insult Rolf by denying the eels? You notice those rocks in the old path? Yeah, I love being railroaded. The bloopers sound like they make a instant message noise. What, you again? You gotta be kidding me. You wanna run me out of this lake? You gotta get through all eight rings. Oh, okay. The rings give me health back, okay. So it's, it's, literally, it's literally just that mission from Mario 64, but the guy making the rings is meaner to you. I love this enemy in every game it's in. Uh, don't mind me. I mean, I don't see what harm he's causing down here. Maybe I should have talked to the NPCs to get the vital lore. I ain't got time for that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 90. 90 cracked. 90 cracked corn and I don't care. But if I don't care, then why am I bringing it up? Oh, okay. Daredevil just right out of the gate. Go ship Daredevil run. Actually, this this might give me a good opportunity to show off the glitch. Oh, uh, no, uh, well, not if it uh, just takes me right there, okay. I mean, that's nice of them. I suppose. Ah, wrecked. Alright, no hit. Take no hit. Talk no... Crap. Oh. Oh no, come back. Oh, 
Oh dear. Okay, that could have been bad. It wasn't, but it could have been. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, there we go. I get nervous that the fireballs don't touch me when climbing the pole. Yeah, I feel like I've had that happen before and there's something deep in the back of my mind that makes me cautious of it ever since. the secret let it be in the first one yes okay good so I can show you the glitch now right so here's what you do go into cannon and then you aim for the chair like I don't yeah you got it Hmm. I'm not sure exactly where you gotta aim. Higher than that, higher than that. So, like, maybe about here. No. Can you shoot the toad? No, not directly, at least. Okay, so shoot like right here oh, okay that was too high so it's somewhere on the umbrella like you want your cursor to be on the umbrella try like lower than that oh, lower than that maybe with a, like a little bit poking out with like a little bit like right about here nope it might take me a couple tries, but I think I can do it. Oh, very nearly. Very nearly. So let's see. It was right about here. Nope. You'll wake him. Nothing will wake him. That's the whole point. Oh, that's ooh, that's close. That is close. So it it's it's a very precise it's a very precise area you gotta hit, I think. Right to the right a little bit. I might have to look it up. I might have to see where you want to aim for. It's 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 like it's like about there. I think if you don't know, then I think you can kind of figure out what I'm trying to do here. Oh. I I think it's kind of obvious what I'm trying to accomplish. Now, now it's too high. Now it is way too high. Come on, come over here. Yeah, if you go to the right, you gotta aim even lower. I'm assuming like sand stuck animation, but in the chair. No, better than that. Better than that. Oh, 
Okay, so let's try to the right, but lower, like aim right here. No, not, not, not right. Yeah, this is, this is a little tedious. I might have to look up the spot. No, that was too high. Crap. So like maybe have the tip of the cursor aligned with the with the umbrella. Like right about here. No. Little bit higher. Like with it intersecting just just a wee bit. Crap. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna look it up. <laughs> it's just gonna find it on the internet. I will stand on the shoulders of giants. Okay, okay, here it is, here it is. I found it, video from 2012. Okay. Where does this guy aim? I should probably find a newer video because the quality on this one's kind of poopy, but... But you know what it'll do? Okay, let me see. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So what was what was the button on YouTube to to go back a frame? Well, it ain't that, that's for sure. Okay, let me try this. Let me try this. I, I might have actually had it before and didn't realize it. So you go over here. You wanted to be at the far right. I was right. So you kind of align it with the blue spot here. No, a little lower, a little lower than that. Yeah, here it is, here it is. Aha! So you can clip into, you know, you can clip into the spaceship over there, but we've already seen something like that. Okay, there's there's a death floor under there. So I'm gonna have to do it again, but it should be easier now that I know what I'm doing. Assuming the IR sensor wants to play nice. Which half the time it does not. Oh yeah, I way undershot that. Yeah, I'm, I'm undershooting it. <laughs> it. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Get off my cannon. Listen. The payoff is huge. Ah, crud. <laughs> the payoff. That might be it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, so this time instead of swimming down, let's just swim over here. Avoid the death floor. Oh. Don't wanna go back don't wanna go back inbounds. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, baby. So, I think the secret star is down here somewhere. Wish I could get a uh, first person view here. And yeah, whatever, I'll clip back in. <laughs> There's not much else I want to do with this right now. Oh wait, wait, I remember what it is. I remember, I remember the secret star. Just let me, let me fuel up. There you go, that's what it is. Oh, that was like a link to the past sound effect. Okay, into the puzzle cube. Oh wait, I was about to ground pound them, and then I remembered that this wasn't Mario Mario 64. <laughs> I mean, this was still an era where got you could get away with buying guidebooks. <laughs> I think I have one for Twilight Princess somewhere. Because, you know, I was I was like a little baby who was bad at puzzles in Zelda games. Which I obviously would not need today. What did that? Oh, oh, I have to hit the, I have to, yeah. I have to hit the gravity thing. Now I have to let the light in, and then I have to hit him with my mirror shield. Ow. Mario Galaxy might not have cheap cheese, but it sure has urchins. The idea of a wall or ceiling of water just fascinates me. Yeah, I would like to touch it. No, okay. Can I get the star without changing the gravity back? Yes, I can. And it wasn't even really that hard, actually. <laughs> okay, so we're done with that place, I think. So next low it well what's this? What what is this here? The matter splatter. I'll I'll save that. <laughs> I also got the Prima guide for Smash 4. I did too. Okay, well, see that will get your gamer card revoked. <laughs> It's just, it's just one page that says, get good. Yes. 
Okay, I don't know what this is, but I probably don't want to touch it. The heat ray. Ah, Deborah. Deborah, I'm emitting uncomfortable amounts of radiation. Brawl had a guy that gives scores out of 10 for every character. So, so it was literally a tier list. I mean, the problem with that is that tires don't exit, but... Oh, the controls are being a little wacky in this area. <laughs> they gave Meta Knight a 6 out of 10. So you're not only wrong, you're also stupid. Hopefully the NSMB2 guide was explaining to you how this game got made. I always loved the more artificial galaxies in this game, like the mechanical ones. I think those were always one of my favorites. Or at least the 2D ones. Because you had stuff like this going on. Okay. I don't need to do your platforming challenge. <laughs> this is the level that looked like Metal Shark Player to you. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, I don't know. Metal Shark Player's level... Metal Shark Player's level feels hotter to me. Like, a, it's got more red in it. Oh, wait, I need that. I mean, I don't know how I feel today. I just am trying to remember how I felt as a child. Oh, wait, better not say child. YouTube will take my video down. Could it be? Okay, don't don't do guns or play with drugs. Child. Oh dear, oh dear, no. <laughs> I was gonna I was cocky. Resembling cock. That is the definition. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess not. Mm, collision detection. Oh! <laughs> 
Okay, we're going this way. Okay, maybe we're not going this way. Wait, no, we are going this way. And they put a one up here just for chads like me. You can stomp those, apparently. No, 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 no. Okay. Here I go. Robert. It's Robert! Hang on, I gotta... It's the scheduled portion of every stream where my nose begins to run. I might be allergic to streaming. This galaxy's basically Battle Rock 2. Essentially. Except there's less rock than before. Okay, this is pretty cool. I like that part. Okay, here we go to the cube. Oh dear. They're going to microwave me. Okay, I am but an ant. Oh wait, I remember how this goes. I think. Or at least how it would go if I was not a Chad with a brilliant idea. I can do this. No, you'll skip the turtle. Is the turtle good? You can ride him? Ah, oh. well, that does sound pretty good. Well, it seems like they accounted for that by making gravity that makes no sense whatsoever. All right, yeah, hit the wall. You're gonna kill me like that for sure. Where am I taking this? Okay, I can take it over here. Oh no. The water's gonna be boiled. This is pretty awesome though. Okay, where is he? I'm looking for him. There's a hole down here. Oh, there he is. Yeah, you're right, this was worth it. What is that? Oh no, I wanted that. Oh no, I'm being pushed into the microwave zone. No, you took everything from me. game they feel a lot more metallic than they usually do yeah like in most mario games the 
question mark blocks feel like they're made out of drywall. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> made out of a asbestos. Dreadnought's Colossal Canons. Oh yeah, this is just straight up Battle Rock. Battle Rock is back, and this time, he's pissed. This thing from Mario 3, probably. Oh, I thought I could jump that. Apparently not. Doghouse! Chomp doghouse! Did you know that chain chomps were created because Miyamoto was afraid of dogs? You know, I, I say a lot of things on this stream that are pretty blatantly not true, like... I don't know how Miyamoto walked in and whipped everybody to death, but that is actually true. You think a Chain Chomp would make a good pet? I mean, I can't imagine it would be very dirty. You have to, like, prevent rust, however. Probably would have to oil it. Ah. Sunshine shows that they need to take baths. Well, I don't think that was because they were dirty. It was because they were cheesed off. But that's Delfino, where everything is strange and unusual. Just like the Bean Bean Kingdom. I mean, Delfino Yoshis evaporate in the water, so... Can we really, can we really use Delfino as an accurate measure? I don't think so. Did you know? Welcome to Are You Aware Gaming. Are you aware that originally Mario Sunshine was going to feature a realistic human girl character? And then they removed it because they removed her because they were cowards. There, there's possibly no prototype on this earth that I want more than the Sunshine prototype. It was also gonna have a train station. Yep. Banjo 2e1, Mario Sunshine 0. Oh dear. Okay, I'm fine. Wait, test. Oh, okay, I missed. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh dear. I'm playing a dangerous game here. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe maybe this is not the best place to test the theory. This galaxy is scary. <laughs> make me make me cry. <laughs> Oh no, it's Ringlord. John Ringleston. He just slotted into place. Okay. But yeah, if you haven't seen the Sunshine prototype, definitely do yourself a favor and look it look that up. 
because the entire hub world is completely different. You know, there's there's all sorts of stuff in there. You never know what you're gonna find. That being said, assuming we cannot get our hands on the prototype, at least not anytime soon, I, w I would appreciate a recreation of the prototype plaza. I mean, there's gonna be some conjecture. Like, you, you, you obviously don't see all of it, but you get an overhead view. I made the Mario Kart Wii article on that page when I was 12, didn't do a great job. I really wish I could experience the Sticker Star beta someday. The Suicide Squad beta, I don't know. I'm gonna assume you mean Sticker Star. But, yeah, me too. Back up. Oh, good Christ. Alright, here we go. What was the what was the hotkey? I already forgot. Um You know how hard it is keeping a dreadnought clean? And then someone comes and drops a load of trash in the ammo depot. Hey, we have plenty of bombs. Maybe you could use them to blow up all this trash. Gee, thanks. Well, I, I'm just going to assume that that activated the filter. Alright. Time for not fun. No fun is here. Yep, I already missed two. Your voice filter didn't work. Okay, I missed the hotkey then. I forgot what it was. Okay, hang on. What what was it? OBS. OBS, tell me. Oh, you know why it didn't work? Because it's not bound anymore. I forgot which one was toggle. Okay, let me see. Test. Test. Okay. No, no, you gotta do it faster. There's always more, so come by later if you feel like helping. Oh, hey, you wanna blow up all this trash for me? Gee, thanks. Okay, well, welcome to the rest of the stream, I suppose. Wants to die. Thank you. 
Oh no, it's probably too far to the left, isn't it? No! Okay. Wow, I'm never gonna take out the trash again now that I know you can just blow it up! Oh, I think this is my bag because I found it lying around. Maybe it will help you. Yeah, I think I like the Fire Mario one just a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Okay, Revenge of the Top Man, Top Land Gang Man. Is Dustman ever going to do the Tale of Under? Unfortunately, I already played it, uh, pr you know, when I, uh, before I started streaming. So, I mean, probably not. <laughs> Power lines are keeping me from helping my friend spin to hit something and knock my okay. I got it. I got it. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. I mean, truth be told, I probably could have just triple jumped up here. I probably didn't need your assistance. <laughs> Genocide in Undertale is kind of weird because, like, you have two of the most intense bosses in the game and like literally nothing else. <laughs> Genocide in Henry Stickman. <laughs> and I mean, yes, I, I know the theory that it's like, you know, oh, genocide's supposed to be unsatisfying. Well, I mean, it still means Toby Fox only designed half the game. Oh, here's where you gotta do that slingshot technique. Oh. Alright, bye, Miles. It, oof. I mean, I like the bullet hell kind of thing, but... Oh, no. But yeah, Undertale's not a game that's particularly enjoyable to play a second time, I would feel like. But I've also never tried, so I don't know. What is that over there? Oh, it's a mole dude. Why is he here? I mean, the thing is, truth, truth of the matter is that you you kind of need good characters for an RPG. I feel like. <laughs> Sticker start. Oh, dang, sorry, I had to clear my throat there. Oh. I mean, obviously, having a good battle system in an RPG is important, but. That's not what most people are there for. Too bad Snickers doesn't even have that. Uh, God, sorry. Oh. 
Nintendo remaster sticker star for the Switch. They probably will too. They probably will too is the sad thing about it. <laughs> we had that remaster TTYD uh, hashtag going and then they're just gonna remaster sticker star. Because Nintendo wants me to suffer. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I feel like Paper Mario 64 would be the one that would benefit the most. I don't feel like Thousand Year Door really needs it. Because of its art style and all. Though, I would not say no to a Switch port of Thousand Year Door. That would be nice. Either way, though, I mean, I don't know. I feel selfish, but I just kind of would like a... <laughs> I would kind of just like a Paper Mario game that I actually enjoy again, but I know I'm probably not going to be getting that. <laughs> Do it again, but fast. Isn't this literally the exact same like series of events as the first Top Man mission? Also, hello, Integer. Honestly, it, it doesn't feel good to have lived long enough to see all my favorite franchises go down in flames. Wait. So, wait, wait. Oh, y yeah, you gotta lead him over here. Oh, okay, come on, come on. I mean, this is different. Come, come on. Come on. Uh. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. I have a soft spot for GameCube games. But yeah, me too. I, I will admit some of it is nostalgia because that's the console I spent most of my childhood playing. But I also think that there are series that have had their strongest entries on that console, such as F-Zero. At least from what I understand. Admittedly, I have yet to play GX. And yeah, definitely Paper Mario, even though that uh, you might argue that's more of a sub-series. More of a spin-off of an existing series, I don't know. Oh, I didn't even see- I didn't even see the monkey ball comment, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh... Monkey ball... <laughs> Sega just does not know how to do monkey ball. It kind of reminds me of uh, Yoshi's Island, honestly. Where they know how to make a competent entry, but not one that anybody really actually enjoys. <laughs> and I feel like, I feel like Banana Blitz probably got remade just because of how well it sold because it was on the Wii. And Sega was just like, oh, you know, that must be the one everybody likes. Oh, God! God! A lot of people enjoy, enjoyed Woolly World. Yeah, I heard that one was good, but it's more of the exception than the norm at this rate. Wait, I... How do I keep doing this? I still have the game in a plastic packaging, never opened it. Me too. I, I don't know why. Well, now I have gained knowledge of how to combat this level. I don't know, I'll probably stream Woolly World eventually. And by eventually, I mean like uh, 2030. But that's, <laughs> that, that still means it's happening. I 
I think Crafted World is pretty good as well. Okay, so yeah, it, it seemed good from what I played of the demo, but yeah, that music was oof. That made me want to tear my hair, my hair out. I feel like I'm losing my ability to speak as this stream goes on. I apologize. New Island versus Crafted World. I haven't listened to all the music in Crafted World. Uh, admittedly. Why does Yoshi music have to try to sound aggressively cute? No, that's... That's where I feel like you're wrong. Okay, that's where I feel like... It's not trying to sound aggressively cute. It's trying to sound aggressively childish. There's a, there's a difference there, I feel. Like, Kirby has cute music, but it never... Like, like Kirby's Dream Land 3, a special dish, a special, a special dish, especially. Oh god, I can't say child! <laughs> okay, now for the longest platform in the game. But yeah, like, like Kirby's Dream Land 3 has very cute music, but it's also, in my opinion, a delight to listen to. I skipped the animation for that, apparently. Apparently, the composer for Wooly World didn't come back for Crafty World. Yeah, you can, you can tell. <laughs> you can tell. Wooly World's soundtrack is like epic yarn. Um, it might be. No, I, me I remember there being like... I remember there being like a guitar that went like... I don't know. Maybe that's just Smash Brothers. And he liked all the tweets that said the music was bad. I, oh god, I remember that. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, he did. He, you know, that's that's a little smug, but he kind of deserves it. He kind of. He, He's kind of earned the right, in my opinion. Smash 4 came out before Wooly World. I mean, yeah, that's not... I mean, that's happened before. Like, for instance, uh, Brawl had a track from Wario Land Shake It, despite the fact that game hadn't come out quite yet. And probably thanks to that, it's the only Wario Land song in the game. Oh, the Melty Melpin, Melpin Galaxy. The Sinking Lava Spire. I thought Smash 4 introduced that Wario Land track. Mm, I didn't think so. Well, maybe you're right. What I might be thinking about is Wario's victory theme. Now, now, that one I know I'm right about. You know, I might be wrong about the actual music track. Yeah. And, uh, Waluigi Pinball, for some reason, incorporates that song's melody into it. I mean, it's pretty cool, so I'm not complaining. It's just a little odd. Yeah, I've heard this music like 300 different times from watching people play Super Mario Bros. X levels. <laughs> it is pretty good, though. But admittedly, admittedly the wonder has worn off. This is a pretty memorable galaxy, though. I used to be so obsessed with Mario Brothers X. Yeah, me too. Me too. A group, 
A couple of people have taken to continuing it, like adding new features, though. Some of the features I am something of a mixed opinion of. Like they added a borderline in-joke character. And also, you know, Klonoa for some reason. Yeah, the problem with me and like level creator games is that I, I always feel like, you know, I could be... I could be making an actual game right now, you know? <laughs> it's like, this is effort I could be expending towards a more original project. Which is, I think, why my motivation for those kind of things never lasts. Thinking about getting Game Maker soon, but you don't know. I mean, I I have mixed as as someone who uses it primarily for you know for their coding stuff. I have mixed feelings on it. <laughs> like, you know, I'm very used to the workflow, and I think it mostly works pretty nice. But also, it has a ridiculous subscription fee model <laughs> at this point, so I don't know. I mean, you can get the Windows exports and stuff for like, I don't know, you can, you can pay a one-time fee for that. But if you want to, if you want to port to anything, like if you wanted to put any of your games on the Switch, yeah, why don't you pay $1,200 a year? Yeah, indie devs can afford that. It's like I need to... I need to make a Kickstarter just for that. Where, where's, where's the other star? <laughs> Too, I'm losing my focus here. Oh, there it is. I remember you tweeting about that dust, man. Yeah, I I tweeted a, a screenshot from the Big Lebowski. Yeah, I mean, if you need any help, uh, Langton and I should be able to help you. Yeah, we don't have we we mostly work with Studio One Point Four. I've been meaning to make the jump to two. Ooh. Yeah. Why does it cost that much even? Oh, uh, th hang on, I can tell you. Hang on, I, I can tell you. Hang on. You want to know why? You want to know why it costs so much? I forgot to do the sound, but you already know what he's saying. <laughs> yeah, that joke didn't work out. <laughs> Way too much preparation. <laughs> Best of Sheen Estevez. Top 10 Jimmy Neutron funny moments. I mean, I'll be real with you, I honestly have no idea. I have no idea what I could have watched that would make YouTube suggest that to me. 
I like how Game Maker games didn't get announced until uh, Game Maker games on Switch didn't get announced until Undertale. Yeah, I'm thinking Undertale is the main thing that made them do it. I, I, I'm not convinced it would have happened if Undertale did not exist. Because they sure didn't give me a Wii U export for the, uh, for Game Maker 1, so, or Game Maker Studio 1, or whatever the heck. I mean, not that I, not that I had anything to port to the Wii U, but it's, it's the principle of the thing, you understand. I mean, not that the Wii U would have <laughs> had a huge install base, but it's the principle of the thing. How did they get Freedom Planet on the Wii U? Apparently there's some guy who worked it out and instead of, you know, making it like open source or anything, you have to pay him to do it. Like he'll do it for you. At least that's what I remember hearing. And I'm, I'm not surprised that Freedom Planet 2 is now being made on Unity. Honestly, I, I tried Unity for a bit. I I don't know. It, it seemed kind of weird to me. Maybe maybe Godot would be more my jam. <laughs> I don't know. But I've heard Godot. You have to have every single location in the game in a, like a single area. Oh, okay, okay. Ro Roblox is where the money is at, apparently. <laughs> Not a joke? <laughs> what do you what do you mean? Like what in Roblox became successful recently? Oh, yeah, I remember hating doing this. Nah, man, nah, listen, listen. Henry Stickman? Amogus? The Friday Night Funk Lord? It, Flash. I'm telling you, dude, Flash. That's where the money is. Flash is dead. No, Flash is very much alive. Rumors of its death were greatly exaggerated. Yeah, Unity. A lot of a lot of games are made in Unity these days. It's it's almost like when when someone asks like what they should use to develop games, like Unity is almost like the meme answer. Dustin, please do a Garfield Kart stream. I gotta own Garfield Kart. It's like, this is the Balin Wonderworld dilemma, where I, I totally would, but I don't have it. <laughs> yeah, Cuphead and Hollow Knight were also made on Unity, in Unity, with Unity. Unity in the kitchen with the silver dagger. <laughs> Grr. I'm sorry, I have different purchasing priorities than you do. <laughs> I mean, most of the time when I've had a bunch of money, it's gone towards uh, getting, like, video equipment to make the stream not look like a poopy. And I've been told that the stream does not look like a poopy, so that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. oh did I misunderstand you over the Garfield cart portion? I, I don't have it. I don't have Garfield cart. 
Should I have Garfield Kart? Uh, that is a question for the ages, but as of right now, I do not have it. Okay, through the meteor storm. Oh boy, I get to roll. I get to marble it up. I think it costs like five dollars anyway. Well, okay, yeah. I guess that's not too bad, but I don't know. I guess it's just kind of like, I, I don't really have a credit card, so most of the time I usually don't, I, like I wait till something's on sale or like I really want it or something, I don't know, half the time I just don't bother, I don't know. Maybe that's not something I should be saying on a stream. I mean, I'm already having to mute out a portion of another Galaxy stream, so... I might mute that part, too. Either way, I don't know. We will see. Though I hear Garfield Kart 2 is where it's at right now. Nobody's playing Garfield Kart 1 anymore. I like the look of this platform. I prefer race with Ryan. No. <laughs> no. Oh, well. Mario moments before his death. Okay, what's this way? What's it? Oh, this, this texture honestly looks really good. I'm not convinced that it's not uh, poo poo. It might be doo doo. I don't know. After Battle for Bikini Bottom, my, my trust has been eroded. man instead hit this glass dome is the final boss gonna happen tonight I'm not sure I still have a bit to do Okay. How funny would it have been if I died there? Thank goodness that didn't happen. Scoop. Boot. Oh, 
Hundy. Hundy. Oh boy. My microphone has tilted. <laughs> it's probably a bad thing for me to hear about the texture while eating. Okay, worst mission in the game, excluding post-game. Oh, okay. So I gotta do an entire mission without getting hit. We'll, we'll see how it goes. It would go better if I could turn my camera. Whoop. Oh. Don't let that hit you. Didn't think the range for those was that long. Clearly, I have much to learn. Geysers are really the worst part. I feel like everything else I, got, I can handle. It's gonna take a quick detour to grab. Some cash. I will say that volcano exploding as you fly off is pretty awesome. It's pretty, pretty dang cool, I must say. Oh dear. Okay, that could have been bad. They knew it was awesome, they used it in a trailer. Good point. Okay, so the trick here, you wanna do like this. You wanna knock them out. My aim is awful, but, you know, we can do it. Spray and pray, eventually one of them's gonna hit it. This is not good because they're right next to the lava, though. Thankfully, he's an idiot and did not actually bounce towards it. Oh dear. Oh god, 3D World's like final, final level is pretty insane. Gotta say.
I think I beat it like once and then I found out the game wanted me to beat it like four more times. And then I was like, uh, actually nah. I'd prefer if I didn't. Oh, okay, don't get hit by the rock. Don't get hit by a rock. Oh wow, actual aim. Wow, actual aim. Okay, there we go. Not not too bad. I mean, you know, the, the, the steam was unfortunate, I suppose, but, you know, I got it. You know, it doesn't take forever. Oh, yeah. yeah, I guess I probably will do the final boss. And we can dedicate one more stream to doing the cleanup. For, oh, no, wait, I still got one I'm missing here. I mean, I, I might still do it, I don't know. Uh, oh, fiery dino, dino Pirano. Oh, God, I just remembered a boss in Galaxy 2 that's gonna suck. That's gonna suck a major butt. Okay, well, here we go. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I bet you do. It took me a moment to remember that I have health now. <laughs> Before you do the final level, there's this mission, Matter Splatter, and the Hungry Luma. Alright. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we gotta do this again? Wait, what are we doing? Do I have to kill all these guys? I might. Oh dear. Oh, okay. Um... No. Oh, wait, no, there's still one. Yep, okay, that was it. That was indeed the solution to my dilemma. Wow, this is a very nice man-made looking structure that's apparently made out of molten rock. Moving along. Is this the 3D All-Stars version? Nah, this is the original Hui. Oh. There's something very sticky in this game about the way Mario moves, like, s s jumps on platforms. I don't know. Oh, ow. Ow. Here, I can prove it. <laughs> Although, technically, I think that's 
part of the disc code and not part of the actual Wii code, and I'm not sure why that is. That might not be true, I don't know. All I remember is that Homebrew had a hard time actually using that screen. <laughs> so a lot of times you would get fake... You would get fake home menu button screens. Does the all-star version have the battery prompt? I don't know. I have not spent enough time with it to find out. This really is a great galaxy, though. Yeah, I'll take one. So, so I feed him. Oh, I already had it. Oh. So I feed him. He he turns into a mushroom, and I eat the mushroom. <laughs> and his sacrifice was in vain. <laughs> when Skyward Sword comes out, we'll have to test the battery thing there. Yeah. I kind of forgot for a moment that that was a thing that was happening. You know, I'm surprised that they didn't put the Daredevil mission here. Oh. Getting this last hit on him is kind of a doozy. Oh. I guess the Wii just didn't have the sort of overhead pos- or it didn't have the memory possible to keep such a thing in memory, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Or maybe I'm just full of it, I don't know. I wonder if they're gonna fix a lot of stuff in the HD Skyward Sword port. Like what, glitches? Or like game design flaws? <laughs> this is the Suicide Squad port. That's it. Jared Leto Joker is going in the thumbnail. So this is a neat galaxy, I suppose. Yes. Oh, Dutch angle. I want to get on top of this. Will you allow me? Mission complete. Oh dear. <laughs> This is so, this is so weird, bro. Oh dear. Oh, I fell. The Wario Land punishment. The, this had to be hell to code. This had to be like awful trying to program this.
Nope. Oh, yep, here it is. Spring. We gotta spring forward. But I feel like I'm falling back. Change my mind. Oh wait, I got I gotta go back. Oh wait, no, I don't. Saved by the splatter. The man behind the splatter. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. I'm very thankful this is a 2D segment. Ugh. I don't want to even think about trying to do this in 3D! Oh, I have been rewarded! How in the name of God do you get this one? For a better player than I. Reminds me of how Mario Odyssey put coins in places that you seemingly weren't supposed to get to. But yet they put like little hidden coins up there anyway, just in case. And that is why Odyssey is a good game. Ah. Ah. Okay. Dead. You have been stopped. Well, yeah, they didn't put it... They didn't put it, I think, anywhere that was actually impossible, just kind of improbable. But I don't know. The coins are hidden, you know? It's not like you see them. You don't see them until you step over them. But it does take some pretty fancy work with Cappy to get up to some of them. When I, when I stream Odyssey, maybe I'll, maybe I'll try and show you. If I remember by that point. I mean, by that point, God willing, we'll all have met again for Galaxy Odyssey 2. Yeah, Galaxy Odyssey. Like, you wanted Galaxy 3? No, Galaxy Odyssey. I didn't misspeak. You misspoke. Cap Galaxy, I believe is what it said. Yeah, it's not Star Bunnies in the Schnur. Oh, right, this one. This one. I'm shocked that there didn't need to be any Star Bit grinding. Honestly, me too. 
I thought for sure that I was going to come up short at one of these points. This mission still sucks. Let's play Chase. Can you catch us all before the time runs out? Um, probably not. But you can, you can scrub the snow with your cursor. Hello, fellow. Scrub. Nope, nope. There we go. Eep, you're fast. Okay, I need to find this, all the switches. Okay. Yeah, this was never one of my favorite missions. Oh. Bro, well, I need some more. Need more juice. Yes, go in the hole. Langton, is that one good for any cash? <laughs> no, I'm just playing with you, man. All right, so now I, th I think we just go to the final zone. Yeah, yeah, you know, we got time. Yeah, I got time. Yes! Yes! Take me there! Take me there, space baby! Take me to the place! Take me to the place in space! Your, 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 uh, your totems are, are coming off. You might want to check that out. Quick, go to that compressed texture. This this has got to make Mario freaking dizzy as all hell. Let me tell you, there was a warp field inside the castle. Oh yes, a warp field. I've seen many of those. Yeah, have a bridge I made out of something. Okay. Oh. The fate of the universe in Bowser's Galaxy Reactor. Oh yeah, play the good music. Play that good music.
I guess the gravity light. Sometimes I wish this is how gravity worked. I want to stand on a wall, but no, my science teacher says I can't. Yeah, Galaxy 2's is also a bit quite nice. Come on. Okay, never mind. God, that's so fun to do. Just long jump over. That's not fun to do. <laughs> Oh no, General Custer! These are made out of ice, I suppose. Oh, there was a glitch you could do here, I thought. Like, is there, isn't there a tornado back here somewhere? Yeah, I feel like you can get back there with Luigi or something. I don't know. Maybe not a glitch, it might just be a shortcut. Which is not a, not a glitch, though sometimes glitches can be used to achieve shortcuts. As speedrunners would often tell you. Uh, it's like I'm playing Mario 1, if Mario 1 rotated. <laughs> oh, you can- the- oh, the glitch with Luigi is on the path to the boss, okay. Ah, uh, I got lives forever, though. No, 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 no! No! <laughs> Can you imagine if I had, like, used the fire to get back up? That would have been pretty sick. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Okay, keep moving. Keep moving. Don't... Don't even care about the fire bars. Because waiting is deadlier. Okay, can I get can I get up here? Yes, but I slide and into the lava because this game is mean to me. Oh yeah, you can bring Yoshi into the final boss. Yeah, that I know about. Like the infinite flutter glitch in Galaxy 2. That's one I definitely know about. However, I do have trouble pulling it off. Maybe I'll get better at it by the time I stream it. I don't know. Bonsai! Bonsai built. Damage boost to save time. Oh, uh. I don't know if Dustman even noticed. Probably not, because I have no idea what you're talking about. It's just a rhythm of jump, flutter, crouch, flutter. Yeah, but I ain't got rhythm. Oh yeah, I remember the glitch you can do here. Looking for Princess Peach? Too bad, cause she's with me. <laughs> yeah, why is Junior so huge here? I got no idea. It has been asked many times before, but it's a valid question. 
Yeah, so it's possible to skip that trigger and make it to where Bowser Jr. never actually starts firing at you. Of course, you gotta be Luigi to get a big enough jump to do it. Finally! You got here just in time to see the creation of my galaxy in the center of the universe. Watch and weep. From this galaxy I will rule a great galactic empire with peach by my side that will last forever. I will rule every pitiful corner of the universe. So Mario, as you can see, I got big plans and stopping you is at the top of my list. <coughs> mm. uh, that does a number on the throat, man. Uh, oh, come back here. To the next one. <laughs> Already vulnerable. <laughs> hit, the, hit him on the rebound with that one. Oh, now we're going to the purple zone. And the final phase is the fight you've done two other times in the game. Somehow that didn't hurt me. And don't worry, Bowser's been burnt up like 80 other times, it's fine. That didn't take nearly as long as I expected. <laughs> huh? ah, I'm falling in space. Mario. 
Oh yeah, you gotta do this again to get the secret ending. Well, it is what it is. No! No, I had everything! I, would, I had women! I had riches! I had... A box copy of Earthbound. My galaxy, my empire. This can't be happening. But it's all for naught because Bowser uh, caused the end of days. This is just, this just hits you like a freight train right here. <laughs> just, just, just this imagery, this music, this, these sound effects. Do you hear the baby stars? These newborns will grow up to become galaxies someday. I feel like a baby because you're like, 60 feet tall right now. When stars die, they turn to stardust and scatter across the cosmos. Eventually, that stardust reforms to create a new star. And so the cycle of life continues. Oh, mamma mia, spaghetti. But the cycle never repeats itself in quite the same way. You'll see. So this is the part where we see the space fetus. And Mario watches himself die. Ah, everyone's here. Congratulations. 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 Even, even that shark that we kept bullying across several different galaxies. Oh, Bowser. The fact that we're not freaking out shows how seriously we take him they how seriously we take him as a threat. Yes. 
All new life carries the essence of the stars. Even all of you. Ah. Welcome! Welcome, new galaxy! Yeah, so a Mario game that ends with the death and rebirth of the universe. You know. Anyway, that's Mario Galaxy. Uh, we're, we're not actually done with it yet. <laughs> Galaxy 2 is not the new Galaxy, it's not even the same Mario. <laughs> Are we implying another split timeline? The timeline where the universe is recreated, it leads to uh, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. And then the timeline where the universe is, you know, remains the same, that leads to Sticker Star. Except they're both in a book, somehow. I don't know. Galaxy 2 features another star festival. Star festivals every 100 years. Oh yeah, that's right. It cannot be the same Mario. This is, it maybe 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 it's like Legend of Zelda in another way. Where you turn where it's Mario's grandson who has the same name and physical appearance. Suicide Squad at a Star Festival. <laughs> the emancipation of one Princess Peach. You guys remember when uh, Birds of Prey fans were trying to, <laughs> were trying to, uh, what sword I'm looking for? Uh, they were trying to um, discredit. I don't know. That's not it. But they were trying to make the Sonic movie look bad <laughs> by saying it had like racism in it, like it was racist and homophobic and all that. That sure was a thing that happened at some point. <laughs> In a, in a pre-COVID world. I think they were clowning on the flossing as well. Well, in fairness, that one I'll give them. <laughs> that one I will give them. How long you think till Luigi flosses? I mean, Ubisoft made him dab, so... Which I will never forgive them for. Man, Mario and Rabbids is just such a... Like, how did this get made? <laughs> Is it? Thank you so much for playing my game. Y you're welcome, Mario. Ooh. Well, you know what? You know what? We will return.
Are we gonna live in a dimension where people like the Mario movie more than the Sonic movie? I mean the opposite. Yeah, I was about to say there's there's no way that's gonna happen. <clears throat> Illumination. Uh, most of their output is aggressively mediocre, and I expect the Mario movie to play it extremely safe, take no risks, and overall just not be that interesting. <laughs> I mean, granted, I can't say the Sonic movie was the biggest risk-taking movie of the century. I mean, that original design sure was a risk and it didn't pay off. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.